There's no place like home. Coke Austin and Ice T's extravagant abode has everything the couple and parents of daughter Chanel could hope to have. The model, 42, showed off her vibrant Louboutin filled closet in a series of photos on August 25, revealing she couldn't resist getting some content in her shoe sanctuary. Been holding out on you guys lately, secretly shooting for next year's calendar, Coco wrote in her Instagram caption alongside two of her behind-the-scenes photos showing the star next to her high-fashion stilettos. My shoe closet is the sexiest place I know, so, of course, this had to be shot for one of the looks. In 2020, the mom of one gushed over their stunning digs and revealed household chores are not as much of a bother because her favorite place in the house is their laundry room. We have our own huge, red washer and dryer and when, Ice T is, downstairs playing an Xbox, usually you'll find me doing the laundry, she told people. The Law and Order, Special Victims Unit actor, 63, said he, on the other hand, was all about relaxing in the bedroom. I got an 80-inch television, in there, he said. When I get home from work, I go up to the bedroom, watch all my TV shows, chill out, and, our baby, Chanel, and our dogs, are usually in bed with us too. As for her closet, well, that spot holds an extra special place in Coco's heart, especially with the animal print carpeting. This is my heaven, she told the outlet, while showing off her countless designer duds. Coco and Ice-T have been married for more than 15 years now. They tied the knot in December 2005 at Hollywood's iconic W Hotel, and fans got to watch the couple exchange their vows on their reality show, Ice Loves Coco. I couldn't have picked a better partner, the rapper previously told in Touch exclusively. She pulls her weight and kills it in every department. As for their secret to maintaining a happy marriage, Ice-T said, we address problems quickly and they also make sure to compromise. Scroll down to see photos from inside their luxurious abode.